Hello and happy new year Pelicans fans. Welcome to 2024 where the Pelicans are going to play their first game of the new year tonight at home against the Brooklyn Nets at 7 p.m. Going into the new year, I've got three key points for you that the Pelicans need to focus on in order for them to continue their winning ways and make it into the postseason. Right now, the Pelicans are 19 and 14 on the season, which is almost identical to their winning percentage that they had in 2023 at this same point. So what are three things that the Pelicans need to focus on so that they can make sure that they make the playoffs this year and that they keep us fans happy? So point number one is going to be making sure that the lineups are really fine-tuned and that Willie Green figures out exactly who's best to have out there depending on what team we're playing. We have a very deep team as all of us Pelicans fans know. So we really need to make sure that we're able to find out what are the best mix to put on the court and how can we ensure that we're able to score the most points, but also defensively keep things up there. Right now, I would say that there's no clear answer on what is the perfect lineup right now. We know that Trey Murphy typically has been a starter, but he hasn't been starting since he came back from his injury and Herb Jones is getting those current minutes. But sometimes it's not just who are you starting, but who's finishing. We've had a tough time closing out close games. As we know, we've been 0-6 in any games where uh, the point differential was three points at the end of the game. So fine tuning those lineups is going to be critical going into the rest of the season. Point number two is going to be seeing Zion and Brandon Ingram continue to bring the offensive strengths to this team. Right now, they are both averaging 20, almost 23 and 24 points each. So they've been contributing to a strong standpoint on what the offensive side is. But we're going to need to see more offense from other players, just like Trey Murphy, Herb Jones. Uh, even we've seen CJ McCollum have some hot streaks as well. That's going to be critical in making sure that we are scoring the right amount of points that we're going to need along with our defensive strengths that we have. We've also seen minutes decrease for players like Jordan Hawkins, who is a three-point threat. So will we see those minutes go up so that we can be more effective from the three-point line? That's something that we're going to need to continue to see more from some of the other guys that aren't just Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson. And then the third point is going to be what's happening at the point guard position. We've seen obviously CJ McCollum run point almost the entire season, but we do see other things happen too with Zion playing point. Obviously we've got Jose Alvarado running point sometimes too. So what is the right mixture there for that? And is that going to continue the rest of the year and to ensure that we are being successful here? So those are three quick points for the Pelicans going into the rest of the season. So hopefully they will make a playoff spot and we will be able to enjoy watching them all of the rest of 2024. Hopefully tonight we will kick things off with a win. Once again, the Pelicans will be playing against the Brooklyn Nets at home at 7 p.m. You can still get tickets for that game if you want to. Otherwise, stay tuned to The Know so that you can stay in The Know.